world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever receiveth him should not perish but have eternal life. This life is temporary. If you make it to a hundred years, what is a hundred years to e eternity? People get so focused on the small picture and do not make plans for the big picture. You must ask yourself a question. If you were die to die tonight, would you wake up in heaven? Or would you wake up in hell? The reason we're out here is because we don't want anybody waking up in hell. We want you to wake up in heaven. That's right. The only way to wake up in heaven is to admit to God that we are sinners, that we need a Savior. And that Savior has a name, Jesus Christ. When we admit we need a Savior, a Savior does what? He saves us. Amen. What do we need to be saved from? Sin, death, and hell. That's what we need to be saved from. And only Jesus Christ save us yes, from sin, death, and hell. Amen. While you're out here celebrating the new year, we want you to celebrate a new life Amen. in Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. That is the celebration we want you to take part in. That celebration of knowing that Jesus has forgiven you for all your sins. How do we know we're forgiven? In the resurrection of Jesus Christ. God proved that we were forgiven for our sins and Jesus rose on the third day. People, it hasn't even been a week, hasn't even passed. And we were just celebrating the Lord's birth Right. on Christmas Day. Yeah, and look, six days later, we're out here getting drunk, getting high, and mocking the things of God. Right. Why? Because that's our sinful nature. And a sinful nature will do that. That's right. But right. me and my brothers have learned something very important. If you abide in God's Word, You'll put your sin nature in subject right. to the Holy Spirit, right. which is the comforter that Jesus sent us. He said he would send us another comforter when he ascended into heaven. And that comforter is the third person of God, yes. the Holy Spirit. Once you receive Jesus Christ as your Savior, the Holy Spirit will come inside you to dwell with you and you will be able to put your flesh in subject to the Spirit of God. You'll be able to tell your flesh, I don't go there anymore. Amen. I was a drunk, but I'm a drunk no more. I was a sexual pervert, but I'm a sexual pervert no more. Why? Because Jesus Christ truly saved. He puts a new, a new creation in you. All things have passed away. All things become new in Jesus. But you have to be willing. God doesn't force himself on anyone. That's right. He allows you to make a choice. He doesn't have a gun to your head. That's not God, that's not true Christianity. We give you a choice. God says, choose this day 
who you will serve. Will you serve the gods of this world? Those false gods or will you serve Jesus Christ? We want you to receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior because we want to see you in the big celebration, the eternal celebration, Woo! which is in heaven where there will be no more disease. There will be no more death. There will be no more corruption. Praise God. There will be no more growing old. There will be no more growing tired. Right. Why? Because you'll have a new body. A glorified body. And that glorified body will allow you to live for eternity. And the celebration that we'll be celebrating is that Jesus is the reason for this season. Amen. To me, my brothers, every day is a Christmas celebration. Every day I give thanks that Jesus Christ loved us enough to get off his throne in heaven and live a difficult and tough life here on earth. He had no pomp or circumstance. He was born in a stable with farm animals because there was no room at the Hilton for him. That's the way our Lord was born into this world. But he did something me and you could never do. He was tempted in all ways but he did not commit one sin. Amen. Something me and you can never say that. Right. And therefore that's why we need Jesus. Because Jesus' righteousness is how we'll be judged before God. And since we cannot live up to the standard that Jesus gave us, we need his salvation. Amen. We need him to be our Savior. That's right. And then what God does is he takes the righteousness of Jesus Christ and he credits it to your account. You no longer have a sin account with God. You now are justified in the precious blood of Jesus. And don't fool yourself, people. Yes, God is a loving God, but God is also a just God, and therefore God will punish sin. And Jesus Christ suffered on the cross our eternal punishment. Right. Nobody has to go to hell. The reason you go to hell is because you reject Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. That is the only reason people go to hell. When you reject Jesus Christ as your Savior and say, No, God, I want to do it my way. That is the theme song of the unsaved. I did it my way. Yeah. Mm. Oh, and when you do it my way, you go to hell way. Oh, wow. yeah. You don't go to heaven. I am a heavenite. Why? I'm a heavenite because I'm bound for heaven. Because I'm better than you? No. Right. Because I embrace a Savior Amen. who was better than every single one of us. Amen. And that is why I'm going to heaven. Not because I was sinless, but because I received my Savior who was sinless. And he was, people. He was tempted in all manners that we were. But he did one thing. He resisted unto death. Something we don't do. We're not able to without the Holy Spirit. Once you have the Holy Spirit, you will be willing to give your life for Jesus Christ. When you have Jesus, you don't have to hide from COVID. Because if you get COVID and die, you'll be in heaven. Right. 
Nobody can threaten you with heaven. It's only when you know you're not going to heaven, then you worry about dying. Right. Because death uh, will have a sting. It'll sting you. Because the next thing you do is you wake up in the fire. And that's not where we want you waking up. That's right. We want you waking up in heaven. In, that. in paradise. Yes. In a place where the temperature is always perfect. Why do people die? Why are the graveyards full of dead people? Because the Bible says, the soul that sinneth shall surely die. God didn't make you to die. God breathed a living soul into you. He made you to live forever. But when we sin, we sentence ourselves to death. But the good news is, even though this body is going to die someday, even though it's going to go into the grave, we have an eternal soul. And where your eternal soul spends eternity depends on one thing and one thing only. Is Jesus Christ your Savior? Right. If Jesus Christ is not your Savior, you're playing Russian roulette with your life. Yep. You're taking chances because I'm going right. to tell you something. Many of us have loved ones that died without giving us notice. How dare they do that? Do you know that 150,000 people will not wake up tomorrow? We don't want that to be you. We want you to receive Jesus. So no matter what happens to you, you'll be guaranteed heaven. And that's why we're out here. We're not out here to point fingers at anyone. We're out here to welcome you to Jesus Christ. Yep. We're out here to welcome you to the wedding feast of the Lamb. What a feast that's going to be up in heaven. And it's going to last eternity. It's going to make this partying here look ridiculous when you can have an eternal party up in heaven yes, because sir. of Jesus Christ yes, you and can. Jesus Christ alone. It's going to make this look like, you go, why was I abusing myself with this nonsense when God had all these wonderful things waiting for me? That's what it's all about, people. We want you to come to the wedding feast of the Lamb. We want you to embrace Amen. Jesus Christ, who first loved you. That's right. He first loved us before we loved him. And because he first loved us, we now love him. And we celebrate him. And we thank him. And we do what he says. He said, if you love me, go and feed my sheep. And that's the only purpose. This world will not feed you the things you need to know to get right with God. This world will feed you alcohol, they'll feed you pot, they'll feed you pills, yeah. they'll pe feed you every sexual sin under the sun, but they won't feed you with the Word of God. Right. And we're out here, we're out here to address the famine in this land. There is a great famine, your table might be full of every type of food your heart desires but there is a famine for the word of god and we are here to address that famine that has occurred in a country that it shouldn't you have so many rights under the constitution because christians would not sign it unless you had a civil bill of rights added to the constitution to protect your freedom. That was done by Christians. So while you mock Christians and make fun of Christians, most of the freedoms you have in this country are because of Christians who are looking out for people's freedom. That's right. We want you to come to God freely of your own choice. We don't want anybody putting a gun or a sword to your head and tell you they're gonna chop off your head if you don't believe in their false God. Right. We want you to come.
come willingly on your own heart's desire. Yeah. And that's what it's all about, people. It's a matter of the heart, not the head. David said in the Psalms, I hide your word in my heart, so I sin not against you. He said he put it in his heart, and that's what we need to do. We have a lot of head knowledge, but we haven't put God in our heart. People, the day that we live in testifies that Jesus Christ is Lord. We live in the year 2022, which is going to become 2023. Why? Because a virgin brought forth a son Amen. named Jesus Christ and he saved his people from their sins. So every time you write the date, the date testifies against you that you should have pondered that, right. that you should have reasoned that there's something special about the day I right. live in. Yep. And that day is special because our Savior came.